Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In the last video, we studied how to scroll data string on dot matrix display using PIC 16F877 microcontroller. In today video I will show you how to display character on dot matrix display using shift register 74HC595. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G and click on the bell icon. Why do need shift register? Shift registers are often used for the purpose of saving pins on a microcontroller. Every microcontroller has a limited number of pins for general inputs and outputs. In last all projects dot matrix needed 16 pins of microcontroller. In the event that you don't have 16 available pins, this is where the shift register comes in handy. With two shift registers connected in series, we can accomplish the task of controlling the dot matrix with only using six pins. Shift register. A shift register basically consists of several single bit D type data latches, one for each data bit, either a logic zero or a one, connected together in a serial type daisy chain arrangement so that the output from one data latch becomes the input of the next latch and so on. Types. Serial into parallel out. Serial into serial out. Parallel into serial out. Parallel into parallel out. Shift register 74HC595. The 74HC595 consists of an 8-bit shift register and an 8-bit D-type latch parallel outputs. The shift register accepts serial data and provides a serial output. The shift register also provides parallel data to the 8-bit latch. The shift register and latch have independent clock inputs. As you can see in the logic diagram. Pin number 14 accepts serial data. And provides a serial output at pin 9. Pin number 11 is shift clock. And pin number 12 is latch clock. Pin number 15 and pin numbers from 1 to 7 are parallel data output. This shift register provide us two types of output is parallel data and second is serial data. And here is the pin diagram of shift 74HC595 shift register. Project how to display character on dot matrix using 74HC595 shift register. In this project, we will display character on dot matrix display using 74HC595 shift register. We will interface the 274HC595 shift register with PIC 16F877 microcontroller, one is interfaces with rows and other is interface with columns. We will provide the serial data to the input of the shift register and shift register provide us parallel data on the output. Here is the circuit diagram we are using in our project. It is PIC 16F877 microcontroller. Pin number 1 is master reset. If we press the switch it will reset the microcontroller. Pin RC0 interfaced with shift register pin 11. Pin RC1 interfaced with shift register pin 12. Pin RC2 interfaced with shift register pin 14. And this shift register connected with dot matrix's columns pins. Pin RC3 interfaced with shift register pin 11. Pin RC4 interfaced with shift register pin 12. Pin RC5 interfaced with shift register pin 14. And this shift register connected with dot matrix's rows pins. These are current limiting resistors. And the value of resistor are 100 ohm. Here is dot matrix display. We are using 8x8 dot matrix display. Pin numbers 13 and 14 are the interface with an 8 MHz crystal. And 22 PF capacitors are connected with the crystal. Pin number 11 and 32 are connected with positive 5 volts. Pin number 12 and 31 are connected with ground volt. Let draw this circuit in Proteus.
The circuit is ready now we will write its code in micro CPIC. Here is the window where we can write the code. I already wrote the code otherwise video gets very long. I will copy the code. And I will pass it here. Now I will define you the code. S bit SH clock row at port CB3. Pin 11 of 74 HC 595. S bit LA clock row at port CB4. Pin 12 of 74 HC 595. S bit SER data row at port CB5. Pin 14 of 74 HC 595. S bit SH clock COL at port CB0. Pin 11 of 74 HC 595. S bit LA clock COL at port CB1. Pin 12 of 74 HC 595. S bit. SER data COL at port CB2. Pin 14 of 74 HC 595. Unsigned char. Row data 8. This line defined data type char. Array named row data. And it has total 8 elements. 0xff, 0xc0, 0xb7, 0x77, 0xb7, 0xc0, 0xff. 0xff This is code for alphabetic character A Unsigned char COL data 8 This line defined data type char Array named COL data And it has total 8 elements 0x80 0x40 0x20 0x10 0x08 0x04 0x02 0x01 Unsigned char. R data, C data. Next, descend. Define variables. Void ms delay. Delay function. Unsigned char. Y, Z define variable named Y and Z. For loop. Y equals 0. Y less than 100. And increment Y. For loop for delay. For loop. Z equals 0. Z less than 254. An increment Z. For loop for delay. Void main. Main function. Main code start from here. TRISC equals 0x00. Set port C as output port. R data equals 0. Assigned initial value 0. C data equals 0. Assigned initial value 0. Next equals 0. Assigned initial value 0. Descend equals 0. Assigned initial value 0. LA clock row equals 0. Clear LA pin. SH clock row equals 0. Clear SH pin. LA clock COL equals 0. Clear SH pin. SH clock COL equals 0. while one endless loop it will repeat code again and again descend equal col data c data this line find the col data from array the initial value of c data is zero and it will select first code and copy that code to descend for next equals zero next less than eight next plus plus Increment next. This for loop send descend data bit by bit. 
SER data COL equals D send rotate right NEX and 0x01. Rotate D send data bits with NEX variable. The first value of NEX variable is 1. So it will rotate right side 1 bit. And masked with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. It will send first bit to SER data COL. SH clock COL equals 0. Send logic low to shift clock. SH clock COL equals 1. Send logic high to shift clock. And data is transferred to shift register. Next for loop increment the next variable. Now the value of next is 2. SER data COL equals D send rotate right next and 0x01. Rotate D send data bits with next variable. Now the value of next variable is 2. So it will rotate right side 2 bits. And masked with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. It will send second bit to SER data COL. SH clock COL equals 0. Send logic low to shift clock. SH clock COL equals 1. Send logic high to shift clock. Again data is transferred to shift register. This for loop repeat 8 time. And it will send all 8 bits of data one by one. After sending 8 bits of data. LA clock COL equals 0. Send logic low to latch clock. LA clock COL equals 1. Send logic high to latch clock. This clock transfer data from shift register to latch. C data plus plus. Increment C data. If C data equals equals 8. C data equals 0. D send equals row data. R data. This line find the row data from array. The initial value of R data is 0 and it will select first code. And copy that code to D send. For next equals 0. Next less than 8. Next plus plus. Increment next. This for loop send D send data bit by bit. SER data row equals D send rotate right next and 0x01. Rotate D send data bits with next variable. The first value of next variable is 1. So it will rotate right side 1 bit. And masked with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. It will send first bit to SER data row. SH clock row equals 0. Send logic low to shift clock. SH clock row equals 1. Send logic high to shift clock. And data is transferred to shift register. Next for loop increment the next variable. Now the value of next is 2. SER data row equals D send rotate right next and 0x01. Rotate D send data bits with next variable. Now the value of next variable is 2. So it will rotate right side 2 bits. And masked with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. It will send second bit to SER data row. SH clock row equals 0. Send logic low to shift clock. SH clock row equals 1. Send logic high to shift clock. Again data is transferred to shift register. This for loop repeat 8 time. And it will send all 8 bits of data one by one. After sending 8 bits of data. LA clock row equals 0. Send logic low to latch clock. LA clock row equals 1. Send logic high to latch clock. This clock transfer data from shift register to latch. R data plus plus. Increment R data. If R data equals equals 8. R data equals 0. And call MS delay. This code send first code of array. And it will again repeating the code. Next cycle the value of C data is 1. And step by step it will send all code to dot matrix display. This process repeat again and again. And you can see the complete character on dot matrix display. Now we will create the hex file. Just click on the build icon. 
Finished successfully. File is created now we will load hex file into the microcontroller. Double click on the microcontroller. Select the hex file. OK. And click on the run simulation. You can see we are using only 6 pins of microcontroller. And dot matrix display show complete character on it. If you have any problem with the code let me know in comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And. Keep watching Star Technology 5G.